New machinery supplying heat. Really, uh, really a situation where Dunn... ...about missing it at the last hurdle, but they've won and they go back to Division 4. Congratulations to them. Watford 3, Hull 1. Spurs 2, Southampton 1. Paul Stewart and Paul Allen for Spurs today. They finished the season in pretty good style. Altrincham 1, Wickham 2 in the GM Conference, and Rotherham 2, Northampton 0. ...be in Southend, the playoff positions, Stockport, Maidstone, Cambridge... Chesterfield or Carlisle. Chesterfield kicked off late. Relegated, of course, Colchester and uh, promoted from the GM Vauxhall Conference, Darlington. In Scotland, will be replaced next season by Darlington. Straight back into the league for the first time of asking. Five points clear of Barnet at the moment. Celebrating today, Darlington captain Kevin has led the Quakers back into the Football League. Hello there, welcome to a special edition of the back page as we sum up a football season that programme. Darlington skipper Kevin, the Quakers back in the Football League and the end of an agonising week for you all, I should think, Kevin. Yes, uh, it's been a, an up and down week for us with uh, our game at Kidderminster, which was lost to us in the last 20 seconds. And uh, it was good character in the side to bounce back yesterday and take the trophy. A tremendous relief for you as well because, I mean, you've led the field all season, really. Yeah, we've, we've been in the top four. Um, I think we were in the top four. Well, we were fourth for three days and we've been in the top three throughout the season. And there's been a lot of pressure within the, 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 the team and the ground. And um, spectators have been, you know, willing us on. And uh, it was just great to finally take that. I mean, the valve was released and we just went haywire. Well, it was brilliant. We're going we're to let you enjoy it, but perhaps, you know, conference teams should only play the last five minutes, because not for the first time this week, the Quakers' fate was sealed in the closing minutes. Darlington were determined that they weren't going to let it slip at the 11th hour. Skipper Kevin Smith sets the example as his challenge on the keeper panics the Welling defence. Honours were even at half-time, however, but the Quakers were soon back in their strides. Gary Gill sent off against Kidderminster puts Welling to the test from the edge of the area. It looked as though they'd left it too late again, but just three minutes from time, Gary Coatsworth sends in a floating header to score the most important goal of his career. There's elation everywhere. But Darlington had also learned their lesson from earlier in the week. They kept on going until the end. Gill again with another blockbuster. But the celebrations had started a week ago began again after the final whistle. It was congratulations all round as the dedicated fans who'd stuck by Darlington through the bad times had something to shout about at last. As for the manager, he was cool as ever. But there was no way the fans were going home without some reward. Kevin Smith eventually got his hands on the trophy and Feetums has got league football next season. He looks as though you enjoyed that a, a little bit uh, there, Kevin. What about Brian Little? I mean, he looked so cool there, but that wasn't the case when he got back in the dressing room, I understand. No, uh, we all shed a few tears of joy. Um, after Monday, we, we shed the wrong sort of tears, and, you know, he was just like the rest of us. We were just overcome. It was, it was something we'd worked and hard, so hard, and been so professional for all year, and it was great to, to see it come at the end. There's a chance for you to be, uh, get more brownie points with the boss. He's done a great job, Brian Little, hasn't he? <laughs> yeah, he's done a really great job, yeah. I mean, he's well-liked within the club and around the club. You know, he's a great guy. But this has got to be a new start for Darlington now. You're back where you belong. You know, you're back on the starting line again now, aren't you? Yeah, I mean, our aim over the two years was the first was to get out of this conference and was to get out of the fourth, and we're on course. So he... hopefully... You know, we're there again next next year. And you can start up all those games with the Hartlepool again now, can't yeah, you? Yeah, we've got a few derbies. I see Carlisle never made it, so there's another one. And Hartlepool, Cyril, yeah. Well, it's terrific. I know the, the whole North East is pleased that yeah. you're back there, even probably including Hartlepool fans. They're looking forward to seeing you. Well, Darlington, of course, have looked to cert to go up for most of the season. But what are the odds on the playoff? By this season, enjoyed a civic reception last night when Darlington were officially honoured for their promotion winning season from the Vauxhall Conference. At the end of last season, it was a different story. Darlington finished bottom of Division 4 and dropped out of the Football League for the first time in their proud history. A quick return to the league was essential. They started life in the conference in the finest possible style, a 3-0 win over Kidderminster. They continued that style, 14 wins in a row before their first defeat. 
Last night, the team had a belated civic reception to celebrate their promotion-winning achievements. After a customary balcony appearance at the town hall, they went inside at the Dolphin Sports Centre to sign autographs for the fans who'd made them the best-supported team in the conference. We've had an exceptional season. Wherever we've gone, the crowds have been good. We've taken great support with us throughout the season. Uh, yeah, they'll miss us, and, and I, for one, will, will miss it in some ways because it's, it's a good league. There's some very competitive football. There are some good football players within the league. Uh, I shall keep an eye on it, and I shall be one of the people who watch the games fairly regularly. But uh, to be honest, I'm glad we're out of it, and I'm looking forward to the, the fourth division campaign now. <laughs> Great stuff. And
question.